Hey guys, it's Katie, and today I'm going to be doing a fun video. I was inspired by Boston Reads books. I've been following her, and she, she's probably the only other booktuber I know that's like as obsessed with Stephen King as I am. So she's been sharing her Stephen King books here on BookTube, and I thought I would go ahead and show you guys my Stephen King collection because I have. He's probably one of the authors that I have the most books of. Obviously, he's the only author that writes as many books as he does, other than, like, James Patterson. But, um, I don't know. I love horror, and I've always been intrigued by Stephen King. I've watched his movies as long as I can remember. When I was younger, I remember watching Carrie. Carrie is still, like, one of my favorites. So I thought I would share with you guys the books that I purchased so far. Um, I have listened to a few of his audiobooks, and I don't own some of the books. But, um, but, um, yeah, I do want to collect them all eventually, so I'm going to show with you, I'm going to show you guys what I do have. I don't actually know how many of his books I own, so maybe at the end of this video I will count them up and tell you guys. But let's get into the tour, so I'm going to share with you guys my shelf. Alright, so starting over here, this is just kind of the layout I have, um, I don't have a lot of room on my bookshelves, so I do have them kind of just all um, double stacked and stuff. Over here is all the mass market paperbacks of his that I have purchased. Some of these I got from like book sales, uh, the thrift store, so some of them are a little beat up than others. Um, first book I have here is The Tommy Knockers. Um, this is a mass market paperback. I have not read this book. It's pretty beaten up, it's been well loved, but you know, sometimes second hanging books are great. But yeah, I'm excited to read this. I don't really know what it's about, but um, yeah, it's Stephen King, so it's probably something creepy. Oh yeah, and just sitting here, I have a Pet Cemetery. I'm actually currently reading this book. I wanted to read it before the movie came out. I have seen the old film, but I wanted to see the new one, and um, I just like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see it in theaters because I feel like it just came out two weeks ago, but it's like already not playing anywhere. Like there's only one showing at like half the theaters around me and they're all at like 10 o'clock at night. So I don't know what's going on with that. So I might just have to wait until it comes out on DVD. But yeah, I'm really liking this so far. It's really creepy. I like it. Um, the next book I have in the mass market paperback uh, section, I have Insomnia. Um, I've wanted to read this. I have not read it yet, but yes, I have it. And then the next book I have is Carrie. This one I did actually buy myself. This was one of the first Stephen King books I purchased, the first movie I watched. This was actually the very first Stephen King book I ever read. I just love the story so much. I love the old movie and the new movie. I just, I love it. It's like amazing. It was one of his first work, or it is his first work ever, but um, it's fine. It's a little bent because I read it, but... I don't know. I just love it so much. And this is the new movie, uh, um, the new movie cover. And I don't know, a lot of people like Sissy, but I like Chloe Grace Moraz. Like, I just love her as an actor. I've seen her in Let Me In, and I just think she's, I think she's a good actress. I like it. Next book I have is Desperation. I have not read this. This is one that I picked up at a thrift store. And then we have The Shining. I still have not read The Shining. I've seen the movie multiple times, but I have yet to read the book. I don't know why I'm procrastinating, because this isn't as big of a book as some of his other pieces. And I do want to read this, because it's like iconic, and I have not read it yet. Who am I? But yeah, I purchased this one myself, so I really should read it. The next dude I got is The Stand. And I made the mistake of buying this book in mass market paperback. I really should not have because it is like Bible font in here. Like it is going to be so hard to read. This paperback is like 1,500 pages. But like I bought the mass market paperback because it was cheaper than buying like a hardcover or the regular size paperback. Like this book was only $8.99. So save money. Next book I have is Nightmares and Dreamscapes. I believe this is a bind up. Yeah, th this is a bind up of some of his shorter stories. It says there's 20, 20 stories in here. So, yeah, 
Yeah, there's 20 short stories in here, so I'm excited to read those. Um, I should honestly just read through some of them. And then over here I have this cover of Rose Matter and Mass Market Paperback. I actually did read this book, and I really liked it. I thought it was interesting. Um, I don't know, I kind of just like the story about the character who was going through like an abusive relationship and she was trying to get out, and it also had some weird, like, creepy stuff stuff going on, but yeah, it was a really dark story, but I did enjoy it very much. Next we have Dolores Claiborne by Stephen King. Um, I have not read this book. It was another, like, thrift store find, so gotta buy it when they're on sale. And then I have The Dark Half by Stephen King, obviously. Um, I have not read this book either, um, but yeah, excited to read that one day. Then we have The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon by Stephen King. I don't know why I keep saying by Stephen King, like obviously all these books are by Stephen King. But um, this is actually a really short book and I've heard good things about it, so I need to actually read it sometime soon. And honestly it's so short, I probably can get through this so quickly. And the next book I have by him is um, Dreamcatcher. Um, I don't know, it looks creepy, I want to read it. Um, it's a little bit of a bigger book. This is a mass market paperback, so it's like 800 pages, but that's just because it's like smaller. But yeah, those are all my mass market uh, copies of his books that I have. Um, they're just a lot cheaper to buy than like the actual books. Although some of his books I should not buy in mass market paperback because that's bad. Okay, so I'm going to start over here now. I have Revival by Stephen King. I actually found this at the exchange. It was like four dollars at the exchange so I had to pick it up because why not. I think this is actually one of his um, newer books. I honestly forgot that I own this book. Yeah this is published in 2014 so this is one of his newer books. I have not read it yet but I'm looking forward to reading it because uh, bargain. can't even get it back in, but the next book I have is Dance Macabre. Um, I purchased this book on book, uh, I think I bought it on Book Outlet because it was like super cheap, but um, this is another kind of like a uh, writer's guide book for horror, so it kind of talks about his influences with the horror genre and kind of things that he has used to inspire some of his books, and I am actually super excited to read this one because I have it on writing. And I want to read this sometime soon because I, I'm very big into horror and I like to write horror and stuff. So I think it would be an interesting uh, book to read. So yeah, I gotta read that soon. And then I do have a copy. This doesn't have a cover, sadly, because my sister bought it at the thrift store. So it has no cover, but this is uh, Gerald's Game. I have not read this book. I did watch the movie and it was it was honestly kind of a weird film so I'm hoping the book's a little bit more interesting because I feel like in the book you would get a better vision into this character's mind so you kind of know more so what she's going through throughout the book. Um, and knowing Stephen King he's super descriptive so it'll probably be even crazier than like just watching the movie because you get more of the character's thoughts and feelings. And then I have, I think, yeah, I have another copy of Desperation. This is a hard copy. My sister just likes to grab me books from the thrift store. Um, what the heck? Someone left their water bill envelope inside this book. But, um, yeah, sometimes it's good to have a hard copy because the words are a little bit bigger. I'm sad that it doesn't have a cover, but, you know, the content is still there. And I also have another copy of uh, Dolores Claiborne in hardcover because the guy and my sister just picks me up books. Then we have Four Past Midnight here. This is a nice hardcover cover. This one actually has the cover and I'm pretty sure this is another book my sister got me at the thrift store. I have not read that. I haven't read any of these, honestly. Um, and then I got another copy of The Dark Half. This was a... Uh, I think my sister probably picked me this one up at the thrift store again. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, another hardcover, cover, cover, 
hardcover copy, so this might be a little bit nicer to read than the mass market paperbacks. Then over here I have the Bachman books that um, are really early novels written by Stephen King under a different name. And um, this one features Rage, The Long Walk, Road Work, and The Running Man. It has an introduction of why he was Bachman. I'm really excited about this because I found this at a half price book sale for $2. Um, my friend actually found it, but um, yeah, I'm excited to read this just because it has a lot of his short stories. It's really beaten up, but I don't know. It was a cool find. Can I move over here? So I have On Writing by Stephen King. I did read this. It's really inspirational, and if, like, it's, it's really, it's like the best writing book I've read, and if you guys are interested in writing, I would definitely recommend it. It kind of goes through his journey and um, just different life stories about his writing and I just thought it was a really good book and it's very inspirational and like I just, I don't know, it really helps with writing. And then over here I have Bag of Bones. This was one of the first books of his that I bought and I honestly have not read it yet because I'm garbage. But um, yeah, I'm excited to read this because it just sounds, sounds creepy like all his books. Okay, and then over here I have another copy of Dreamcatcher. I love this cover though. It is so pretty. Um, my sister did pick this one up for me at the thrift store as well, but like, it's much prettier than the mass market paperback, let's be honest. And then over here I have Kujo. Um, I'm honestly excited to read this book. This cover is so old. Like, this book is so old. Like, it's like deteriorating. It's ridiculous, but that's what happens when you find books at the thrift store. I just want to see when this edition was printed. It doesn't actually say when it was printed, but it was published in 1981. But this book is like so, so old. It looks so young. But, um, yeah. I want to read this because it sounds scary. Scary dogs. Then I do have another copy of Rose Matter. Um, just a different cover here. It is hardback. My sister got me this again. A lot of my duplicates are because my sister grabbed them and she didn't know that I already own them. And I have another copy of this stand. I'm really sad that this doesn't have a cover. But yeah, this is another copy of the stand. This is the hardback, so I'm probably going to end up reading this one instead of the mass market paperback. Frick. Why do people use, like, medical things? bookmarks. There's always weird stuff inside used books that I buy at the thrift store, I swear. But um, yeah, I'm probably going to end up reading this copy because it'll be a little bit easier on the eyes than the mass market paperback. And the last book I have is It. Um, this one, again, doesn't have a cover, so that's sad. And it's kind of dusty and dingy and old, but I mean, got the job done. I did read this book and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. This is probably one of my favorite books next to Carrie, um, although I haven't read many of his works, but I mean I've read quite a few. I just don't own all the ones that I've read, but um, yeah. This one was really good. I liked it so much. Okay, so I own 28 of his books, so um, yeah, I think he has like 60 or like 70, I don't even know, but I have about half, so you know, the collection's going to be growing, and I'm excited to purchase more of its books and read more of them, and I'm definitely excited to get through these that I have. Um, actually, I don't really own half of them because I have, like, five duplicates, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What is your favorite Stephen King book if you guys um, enjoy his work? Or what books do you have the most of on your shelf? Definitely Stephen King is the most books that I have. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!